to regional uh, here on the Willette campus uh, was in dire need of some upgrades. And of course, as uh, the president and CEO, David Mouget, had indicated, you know, they have uh, very uh, excellent, serious plans for utilizing the just over a million dollars that they will be receiving. But it's no secret, obviously, that what they really want is a new hospital. Can you comment about where we're at about approving phase two money? Why not go ahead and approve a mega hospital as opposed to doing band-aid repairs? Well, that's an excellent question, you know, but as we look at it right now, I've been in discussions with uh, uh, Mayor Drew Dilkins. I've been in discussions with, uh, of course, uh, uh, Mr. Mouche, as well as with the, uh, uh, the Minister of Health, uh, Christine Elliott with regards to the, the plans for the new Windsor Regional Hospital. And that's moving along. Maybe it may not be moving along as quickly as we would like it, but there are some great plans. Initially, they are just wrapping up Phase 1 right now. And once all the uh, I's have been dotted, T's crossed for Phase 1, then we'll be moving into Phase 2 and releasing more funding uh, to help this move along. Again, realizing that uh, this is a huge project uh, for this area, and when you take a look at the catch basin for what the new uh, mega hospital for Windsor Regional, I mean, it's going to even include uh, cities as far away as Chatham, perhaps. It'll take a lot of pressure off of uh, London Health Sciences uh, by getting these new facilities here uh, at, uh, at in Windsor. So I'm excited about it, but it's going to take several years before that comes to completion.